Apple's scratch test. Apple's scratch test is the assessment of the general range of movement and the functional capacity of the shoulder joint. That is glenohumeral, acromenoclavicular, sternoclavicular, and scapulothoracic joints along with the shoulder joint. Now let us see how to perform this test. Ask the patient to reach behind their head and touch the medial aspect of the opposite scapula. This involves the abduction and external rotation. And now ask the patient to reach across their chest and touch the acromion of the opposite shoulder. And this involves internal rotation and adduction. And now ask the patient to reach behind their back and touch the inferior angle of the opposite shoulder, which involves the internal rotation and adduction. And this will be abnormal if the patient is unable to complete these motions smoothly. Now let us understand what is the mechanism behind these tests. We know about the shoulder joint anatomy. Shoulder joint is a complex structure. Its components include humeral head, glenoid fossa, acromion, clavicle, scapula and surrounding soft tissue structures and various ligaments. Under normal circumstances, the shoulder joint is capable of vast range of movements. And this Apley's scratch test assesses the glenohumeral abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, internal rotation and external rotation. So whenever there is a tenderness or limited range of movement suggests injury to one or more components of the shoulder joint. Often, the dominant shoulder shows greater restriction than the non-dominant shoulder, even in the absence of pathological condition. An exception would be individuals who continually use their arms at the extremes of motion, example like baseball pitchers. Because of the extra range of motion developed over the time doing the activity, the dominant arm may show greater range of motion. However, the examiner must always be aware that shoulder movements include the movements of the scapula and clavicle as well as glenohumeral joint. And many of the glenohumeral joint problems actually are scapular muscle control problems which may secondarily lead to glenohumeral joint problems especially in the people under 40 years of age. This is what we need to know about Apley's scratch test.